Hey guys, I'm so happy today because I'm going to show you how I use my Too Faced Boudoir Eyes palette to create this kind of sexy, smoky eye. Um, it's not horribly harsh, but it's just kind of a subtle smoky eye. Um, I think it looks great for brown eyes, so finally I'm going to do a tutorial that looks awesome for my eye color. Um, but it, it would also look good for pretty much any color eye. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm taking my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eye Primer, and I'm just applying that all over to both my eyelids, just smearing it on there and rubbing it in so I have a thin, even layer. So I'm just gonna keep rubbing it in, making sure that it's even, making sure that it's from under my brow bone um, up to my lashes, just really making sure I have a good base to put my eyeshadow on. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my palette here, the Boudoir Eyes palette, so excited about this. And uh, there's some of the colors in it, a very good mix of colors there with purples to uh, a bunch of different kinds. Anyway, I'm taking Lap Dance, it's a light purple, and my Sigma Tapered Blending E40 fluffy brush. And I'm going to go ahead and get that light purple Lap Dance color all over my brush very liberally. And then I'm going to tap off the excess because we don't want a bunch of stuff falling out. Now I'm just going to take that brush and I'm just taking it and doing like a windshield wiper motion right into the crease because I want to get apply this really liberally into my crease. So I'm just going to keep going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and just really make sure that it's on there pretty well. Um, I really like this whole eyeshadow palette anyway. Um, the colors are just really nice together. So now I'm going to take a stiffer kind of domed eyeshadow brush and I'm going into the color Voulez Vous, which is a darker purple color. And this brush is a crease blender brush by Too Faced. And I'm just going to get the darker purple Voulez Vous all over my brush. And I'm going to get off the excess powder by, I guess, blowing on it this time. I should probably just tap it off. Anyway, I'm just going to apply that right into my corner. And it's okay if it's not like the best uh, has not blended really well because we're gonna go back and blend it but I just really want to make it concentrated on my outside corner so basically like to where your iris kind of starts is where you really want to apply that and make sure you don't get it past your pupil because we want to concentrate this on the outside corner of our eye and this is just gonna give our eye a little bit more definition now I'm just wiping off um, a little bit under my eye that kind of fell out but we'll go back in with a q-tip and get that so of course, you need to do that to your other eye. There it is, I'm building it up on that eye um, as well. And then I'm gonna go in with the shade Garter Belt, which is more of a matte gray. And with that same brush, I'm just gonna kind of get that brush all covered in that. And I'm gonna use this to kind of connect those two colors together. So, here we go. Oh yeah, I gotta top it off the excess, Kaylin. So I'm gonna go in there right into that crease and you're gonna kind of bla blend, blade. I'm gonna blend those two shades together um, from the one that we apply with the fluffy brush to the one that we just applied on the outside edge. Now you can go back over the Voulez Vous with that brush as well. Now I'm gonna go in with the birthday suit kind of shimmery color with this flat um, shader brush. It's by Too Faced, it's a, called the Lid Smoker Brush and it just has a flat base to it. So it's really good for packing on shadow. So we're gonna go in with our base color. There's the birthday suit, tap that off. And I'm just gonna apply that starting in the middle of my eye to brighten up the middle of my eye. Just applying that all over. We don't have to do much because we already have those other colors on the eye so it doesn't really make that big of a difference. But it does brighten up the center. So now we're gonna go in with In The Buff which is a very nice um, white shade that's really not matte but it's not super shimmery and we're going to apply that right under the brow bone and you can lead it up into that um, shadow we've already applied and we're going to really concentrate it on the tear duct area so now i'm taking that fluffy blender brush and i'm getting off all the excess stuff that was already on it and i'm just going to blend those two colors together so we're blending the in the buff and all of our crease work just a little bit to soften it up it's kind of a fun step get to blend it all together mix it up mix it up Okay, so now I'm going to take this really small brush by Too Faced, and it is called a, what is it called? 
the liner smudger brush and it's very very tiny I love using this to um, smudge out my um, eyeshadow so we're going back in with that Vuli Vu shade which is what we used on the very outside corner I'm just gonna go ahead and get that covered on this little brush and tap off the excess and what I'm gonna do with this is apply it right on my lower lash line so that way we have um, dimension also on our lower eye and we don't just have it all on um, on the lid up there it's really gonna make this look more cohesive so I'm also putting a little bit on my upper lash line um, but we're gonna put eyeliner up there in a minute and that just kind of ties the look in together a little bit more so of course I'm gonna do it to my other eye too I'm not gonna forget it but I'm just trying to save on time here so I did um, both eyes there and now I'm getting the excess off of that brush because I'm gonna go in with the birthday suit with the same little brush and I'm going to get that saturated with that color and we're gonna take it and put it starting from the middle and go um, lead it up to the the beginning of the eye Kaylin beginning of the eye forgot like I lost my train of thought for a second um, then we're also going to go back in with the birthday suit, the white color, and we are going to pop that on the corner of the eye just to make it really stand out because I love really, really white or very, very um, stand out inner corners of the eye. I just think it makes you look more awake. So I took my little um, Urban Decay pencil, the perversion pencil, so little now, um, and I'm just applying it lightly to my upper lash line just not really caring that much if it's straight or not and now I'm applying it to my tight line because that's gonna make our lashes look darker and thicker and that's what we want for a smoky eye even if it's a subtle smoky eye I don't see anyone objecting to anyone any kind of thick lash line so so now I'm, I'm taking that pencil and I'm rubbing it a little bit on my waterline there and I'm connecting those corners so now I'm taking the little brush right there and I'm going to take it into the Voulez Vu, that dark purple, and I'm going to use that to smoke out my liner. So I'm just rubbing in what we already did. Oh, by the way, I put liner on the other eye too, so I'm not just like a one eye, one eye lined freak or anything. So I'm just smudging out that line. Um, I think this is a really good way to apply eyeliner because it looks more natural. So I did it on the top so, and I did it on the bottom as well because we don't want um, anything too harsh. Doing it to the other eye. And then I'm gonna take this shade called French Tickler. It is a kind of glittery black shade and getting off the excess again. And I'm just gonna concentrate that on the very, very edge of my eye. I really like dark, dark colors on the edge of my eye because I just think it adds that extra dimension that I think that a lot of people should um, st strive for in smoky eye. So I just took a q-tip and I'm just wiping off anything that fell down and I'm also taking that liner and I'm gonna go ahead and pop it all the way into um, the beginning of my tear duct there, tear duct area. Because I just decided at the last minute that I wanted even more. I wanted to make it even more defined. Taking my eyelash curler, yeah that's right, curling it, curling it, curling it. Crimp, crimp, crimp. And then I'm applying my Maybelline The Rocket Falsies, or I guess it's just the Rocket Volume Mascara. Anyway, love it in the waterproof version. To my top and my lower lashes, making them look all luscious, because it would look weird if you didn't do lashes with the smoky eye. There's the finished look. There you go. If you want to do false eyelashes, you can as well, but I didn't. I hope you all enjoyed my tutorial, and if you have any questions for me, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from me, you can go ahead and subscribe. There's this subscribe button below this video. It should be, I think it has like a red arrow. It should be pretty obvious. So, down there. Keep looking down. I hope you guys have a fabulous day and happy spring.